What's going on everybody? Big C here. Uh, seven days to die. Let's talk about seven days to die. Well, here it is. 10.1's just hit the streets. I'm pissing my pants with excitement. You're pissing your pants with excitement. Let's get this installed and let's not check it out. Well, the reason why I'm saying let's not check it out is because it's not 10.1 that I'm interested in today. Although, it is pretty awesome. Today, while this is downloading in the background, as you can see here, what we are going to be doing today is... I'm going to be showing you one of the coolest things to come out of the forums in a while, which is the Random Gen Point of Interest Expansion Pack for Alpha 10. You heard me right, right, okay. This is made by Psychanalyc. So thank you very much to Psychanalyc because you're an absolute, well, three reasons really. One, it's Alpha 10, it's Random Gen, you're a fucking wizard. Number two, my prefabs are in there. All right, I know. And uh, number three, I got. I've got. I don't know how many times I've been asked for. Uh, but does this prefab work for random gen? Does this prefab work for random gen? Well, fucking yeah. These all work for random gen, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install it. So first things first, you want to get on the forums. The link for this this post is in the description of this video on YouTube. So get it. Down, get to this page next up oops, seven days is just finished so you want to click this link you want to download this file it downloads 99% there you go prefab mega pack so we open it up and we get a, fo a folder and a file now this is how easy it is to install are you ready so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Steam we're gonna go to properties we're gonna find where we installed the game to so we're going to browse local files, it's as easy as that, and then you're going to go into data, you're going to go into prefabs, you're going to open up this file, this archive, and you're going to drag everything into your prefabs folder. If it says, do you want to replace anything, just say, yeah, replace that, it's all good, it's all kosher. Then you go up a folder, you go into worlds. You're going to random gen because this is a random gen expansion pack. This is what you've been waiting for. I was about to say fuck Alpha 10, but let's not because that's it's quite nice. But on a serious note, this is what you've been waiting for. You drag the prefab file over into random gen, place the one that's there, and that's it. That's it. Now, if you don't believe me, you need Jesus. You need more than Jesus. You need a you need to watch me go and try it out. So let's fire this up. We're going to start a new game. Blah, 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 blah. Standard options, scavenger, survival, single player. Random gen, son. And we're going. This is as easy. And all the prefabs are in. You don't have to dick around with the prefabs XML file. You don't have to put them in the right place. Well, we did just put them in the right place. And... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the console, type in DM, D for dog, M for man, which puts debug mode on. I'm going to set my position as 0, 0, which should put me in the city. Now, rather than falling to my death, I'm going to press G so that I fly like a wizard. I'm just going to let this load up now, and then we are going to have a fly about and look for some of these new prefabs. So... I'm just going to open up the text, the prefabs.txt file. Da, 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 da. Where is it? So it was in worlds, random gen. So if we open this up, we can have a look and see what some of the new prefabs are. Rural, blah blah business town, Old West, Ooh, Old West, barn, farm, shed, campsite, cabin. Oh, there's the prefabs. There's the prefabs. So that is how many custom prefabs you're getting. You are getting a lot of prefabs, considering how easy it is to put in. All right, so we're going to press M for mother, zoom out a bit, and we are going to hold down Control and right-click, which will let me fly around this map with the greatest of ease and then we're going to have a quick deeky around to see where these see if there's any of these new prefabs 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the prefab pack, go and tell the author of the prefab pack and, well, the prefabbers themselves who made them that they've done a good job. Why not? So, just having a quick flick around the city here. You do actually get random uh, some of these new prefabs loading up outside of the uh, the city as well. Just to point that out, it's not just the city that's had the custom treatment. But just expanding this out so we can see. So what kind of buildings we've got? What have we got here? Oh yeah! Now this prefab is one of the best prefabs that I ever seen. The reason for that is because I made this prefab. And this prefab is actually my local McDonald's restaurant to scale. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drop down. We're going to go inside. We're going to have a look about. Oh, I can't look around. There we go. That door glitch there, but that's okay. It's all kosher. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a cheeseburger, please. Oh, I can hear angry dogs and zombies and shit. But yeah, this is my local McDonald's, complete with scabby taps and don't wash your hand signs. So, let's have a look what else is around. This is rather nice. We've got broken buildings. What we've got over here? Oh, that's a new, it's one of the new buildings, 4 for 10. The old gun store. Ah, this is quite cool. We've got like a little collection of little collection of like bungalow houses. Pretty awesome. So yeah, fly around forever because this is random gen and because there are a lot of prefabs, it means that you're going to be finding lots of new quirky buildings every so often. And because Alpha 10 has now got a small kind of settlement algorithm built into the uh, random gen it means that you should be finding kind of like little clusters of buildings new buildings as well like custom ones included so on that note what, what are you even watching this video for get it downloaded get it installed and get enjoying it um it's going to be more seven days to die stuff coming from me oh jesus and uh, there's more Seven Days to Die stuff coming from me real soon. There is another random gen point of interest expansion pack, which I shall be reviewing soon. And uh, yeah, just Hal, good on you, Hal, by the way. Hal now is uh, doing some official work for the, the fun pimps. So awesome to him. And uh, yeah, it's as easy as that. Get it downloaded. Copy it across, it takes two minutes of your time, and va va voom, you've got tons of new prefabs. What more can you ask for? Um, one final shout out to Psych. Yeah, you always get me in that name. Psychanalic, thank you very much. Your work is appreciated. If you've made a prefab and you want it to be part of this pack, get on that forum post and let them know. Why not? That's all that there is, really. I, I was, I was going to say something cool there. Had nothing cool to say. Well, that's all from me, everybody. I'm Big C uh, Big C nine zero two one zero. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time.